all right guys so this is a little experiment I have going on so <laughs> I have some fern algae right there as you can see there's a piece of grape right there also I'm trying to see how fast it's gonna grow in a dirtier tank well I'm trying to see especially I have life in here too so obviously I don't want to kill them but it's going to be a very 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 high nutrient tank um to see the growth and see what i can get away with without like 80 ppm of nitrite and phosphates i try to really keep down um nitrites are going to be yeah like no more than 40. try to keep it down do water change like every two weeks so at least three gallons so this is about uh how many gallons all together about 60 gallons all together uh so just a quick way to see how much i can grow um just in this tank alone so keep in touch um, i'm gonna make a video about me every month so today is day one of the experiment and we'll see the growth pattern of these different macros I have fern calerpa, I have calerpa profilia, I have a shaving brush, I have a mermaid's fan in here, hella maida, um, dragon's breath, I have some codium, which probably will grow slow, and I don't know, I might introduce a couple of other macros in here, I have some reds down there, I have a different type of calerpa, uh, so there's a lot growing in the sump also so even have some uh some green um garcelia and red garcelia or garcelaria can't pronounce it worth anything have mangroves in here also just uh going going down so you can see i kind of messed up my uh sump it was some runoff there and it got all in the tank it's little particles everywhere something must have melted or something of the sort changed the temperature a little bit and so yeah here we go so stay tuned subscribe let's see how we can grow macros the best way and i can also see a little bit of growth in some of them also when you start seeing the tips get white that's new growth pattern nice green i supplement um calcium every every two days uh just a bit a cap full of five milliliters um i also put eight drops of a uh, trace element every two days um also a little bit of iron probably like 10 milliliters of iron every eh, like week i don't want to put too much iron because then you'll get a uh, hair algae and all that other stuff and also sometimes i'm using calc calc water um not too much because i don't want my alkalinity to skyrocket i barely really put alkalinity in there since it's already high and the dkh is about freaking <laughs> like 15 16 right now for some reason so getting that um not doing that i feed like four times a day just um pellets with garlic or i'll do some mysis shrimp or brine shrimp and um yeah and really won't be using the protein skimmer that much at first I was and then I can tell that uh, I left it on for 24 hours two days and then my macros start kind of receding a bit because I was taking out too much nutrients from the water I have some uh, some salt water well they're not really salt water but you can put them in there some um, some mollies in there and they've been here for about four or five months and they're doing well um, acclimating to salt have my maroon clownfish and I have some uh, gobies engineered gobies in there digging away so um, there's a couple of nutrients they have the mollies also have lots of babies so that's more nutrients might add a little bit more fish later on but just have to keep checking the parameters to see if it's high nitrite and ammonia I don't want that so hopefully everything is gonna be stable and uh cool so got that going uh any questions concerns anything you've tried before let me know star aquariums out please subscribe